Welcome back to the range here on the World Foam Alliance. I'm here on my indoor range still. The weather is almost nice enough for me to go out. It rains, so it's currently muddy, so I don't want to. So we're gonna we're gonna be in here and we're gonna fling some foam. <laughs> Up first, we have this, which I will be doing a full video on. I just wanted to plink with it here because it's fun. This is the XF2. This was designed by uh, X Fox Gaming, and it is a nifty little number. It's a flywheel blaster, semi-automatic, nice snappy trigger, but it, uh, its big gimmick is that it is, in fact, two-barreled. Very similar to the uh, Dual Impact, but this has just straight magazines, and it's semi-auto. Um, now, like the Dual Impact, you can load just a single mag into it, and it will work just fine. Or you could load it into the other side, and it works just fine. But obviously, the real joy is loading both sides. Because at that point you have a semi-automatic magazine-fed shotgun. Semi-automatic shotgun. Fantastic. Look forward to uh, taking that one to the range and doing a full video on it in the near future, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into the ammos y'all voted for. For the primary ammo type, y'all chose the Mega Dart again. Y'all seem to like Mega Darts, which is cool, because they're fun. We're gonna start out firing some stuff that was originally designed to fire Mega. They were Mega Blasters. They are both modified, and I haven't fired them in forever, so who knows if they even still work. We're gonna start with my Roto Fury, which I had forgotten. Half of it still has the adapters for uh, full-length darts, but the other side is still Mega, and I'm gonna be alternating regular Mega and uh, Accus fake, so we'll see if I'm able to dial it in at all. That was regular. Oh, Accus fake is better. Oh, I forgot how chunky this thing is with whatever spring I put in it. It just doesn't like to prime. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah, round complete. Hmm. Let's try something. That maybe works a little bit better. I said maybe, I make no promises. This is my modified Megalodon. Um, it's got all Mega Darts. Half of it is regular and the other half is AccuStrike, so maybe I'll actually be able to hit something, though. This thing is hip-fired, so I can aim. Oh, Lord! Whistled. All right, that was the last of the regular ones. Now we get into the Accur, Accur Fake. Ah, round complete. Still haven't hit anything with the Mega. We'll see if I can change that. We're now going to take a look at a couple of things that were not. Or, well, one maybe they were originally designed. Well, yeah, let's take a look. When they first came out, there was a big to-do about the fact that the muzzles on the Nexus and, and similar blasters could, in fact, just have a Mega Dart shoved in them and could fire them. I don't have any idea how well, but we're going to find out. I am not impressed. Let's try another one. Oh, that was better. Try an AccuFake. Maybe it'll fly straight. Yeah, well, still ain't hit nothing though. Come on. Nary so much. We're gonna try one more. One more, similar. But hopefully with a bit more schutzpa, we've got a Mark 1.2. And its muzzle will also allow you to muzzle load Mega. And it's got some smack to it. Yeah. Need a bandolier or a dump pouch or something for this. Come on, get in there. 
Come on, give me a hit. Oh! Nicked it, but not enough to set it off. All right, let's see if the AccuFakes will load. Oh, you had smaller foam. What is your boggle? Nary so much. We'll try some Accu Accu Strike. Will they fit? They will fit. Figures. Oh! Shoot straight. I just don't. Okay. Oh, a little low. Tragic. No hits with the Mega. All right. For the bigger ammo, you chose Mega XL. And we're going to do the same thing. So up first, we have the actual Mega XL blasters. This one has a full 11 inches of K26 in it. And it has some, some sting in its tail. But it don't shoot no straighter than any of these other ones. Whoa! Neat. Try another one. I don't remember the name of this one. Double Crusher? Something like that? Maybe? It has a stock attachment. New pump, new grip. This one's also modified. See if I can hit anything with it. Not even a little. Like the lower barrel jettisons itself. And I can bounce them in. Come on. Nothing. I can reach this round. We're moving it. Oh, still missed. All right, let's take a look at the ones that weren't intended to fire these. So I don't know if it was entirely by design, it probably was, but the new, uh, ugh. so I don't know if it was by design, it might have been, though I think some of these came out before Mega XL was a thing, so who knows. Anyway, some of the various scar barrels, the worker scar barrels, and this I believe is actually the new Dark Zone scar barrel, will also allow you to simply muzzle load a Mega XL dart and fire quite nicely. So again, you're making noise. Not particularly accurately. Let's try something with a bit more power. This one, this one's potentially dubious because worker scar barrels also fit them. They're a little bit tighter and uh, there's a good chance this is gonna end up rupturing the dart, which would make it Tragic, because they're not exactly cheap darts, and they're not easy to get a hold of anymore. Oh, but that fired nice and straight. Oh, so close. That, that works way too good. I'm going to go check those and see if they ruptured, and uh, if they didn't, I might keep plinking until I finally get a hit with one. They seem to be good, so I'm going to keep trying. I got him! All right, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. The survey for what ammo types you'd like to see next time will be on the community tab for you to vote on. Thank you for watching. Join the World Farm Alliance.